and welcome back. Got a few new alternates, alter, alternative, alternates, alternative, yeah, alternative ways <laughs> of fixing your buffering. Uh, I'm getting a lot of this stuff. People are, are getting a lot of issues, and I wanted to show you guys some stuff. If you guys missed my 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 one of my most recent videos on how, like my seven steps, my seven top steps of how to fix buffering, watch that one. This one is a few different new steps that I do take um, and stuff that I recommend. So, okay, here we go. First one. Um, some people might not know this. I know within downloader, people go there and they go to speedtest.net. That's the one I like. Um, come here to network. Um, from the network, you want to choose the one that you are connected. So we're going to connect it and you could press the pause play button to check the network status. Now, when you do this, there's an advance and run a speed test. There's a speed test built in within the fire stick. So run a speed test, yes. Now put the remote down, let it do its thing. It's gonna say we're running it, it says no issues are found with your connection, and it's gonna start running the test. So just give it a few seconds, it doesn't take that long, um, and it's gonna give you your, your information here. Now typically, um, with your first party stuff, anything that is 30 megabytes and up, is going to be amazing for 4k um, you don't have to have 100 megabytes but if, if you're like at 20 25 30 you should be fine with 1080p and definitely 4k um, so for me right below my head you guys will see it right there it says internet speed 60 megabytes per second at this moment um, i did a test earlier and it was saying it was at 100 with a different app with this one just use it directly because it will tell you directly on the stick itself i am on the corner here opposite of where everything else is at so this is really really good and it says right there based on this speed it's really good for 4k streaming without interruptions now this is for first party stuff so keep that in mind we are going to cover third party in a second they do have an advanced option here this will give you like a little bit more details if you're looking at the the noise the signal strength um the channel that you're on like all that information i have all this stuff blurred out so that way you guys don't have all my personal information but there it is um you could you could configure data monitoring um, or just go back. So we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Now, the second one is, um, I'm going to give you guys here two options. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to give you guys here two options. Big shout out to TD UK for this one. I actually thought it was pretty cool. I ran into his and I was just like, okay, this is nice. Um, just type in app killer and you're going to have two options here. Background apps and process and the app killer now before you do anything um with this with td uk's app you have to turn on adb debugging so you want to hit that home button we're going to come here to the far right to settings you want to go to my fire tv click about if uh, if you look right below about it says developer options if you don't see that click about and then right here where it says Fire TV Stick 4K Max, yours might say Fire TV Stick 4K, Fire TV Stick, Fire Cube. I don't know what else. It'll say something there. You want to click this like about 20 times until the bottom says um, your developer. It's seven times, but just click on it. <laughs> so no need your developer. Click back the back button. Go to developer options. Select this guy. ADB, ADB debugging is on. Make sure you do that. So... We're going to come back to the home page, go back to the search, and we're going to put in that app killer one more time. Some of you guys might say, like, well, I already have ADB debugging turn on. Great. So here we go. App killer. Now, with TDUKs, um, it is $1.99 or 199 coins. Um, for those of you guys who are who just want it all free, that's fine. I like to support uh, my fellow content creators and I like to support people who are creating this stuff. TDUK's app is a one click and done. And that's, that's exactly what I mean, one click and done. Now, when you first launch it, you're gonna get this new key pair generated and it's gonna say four stop all apps. Oh, for this one, make sure you turn that on. Um, you want to be sure you're connected and the count total running apps. When you click on this, it's going to check everything. So here it is. It has 16 for stop on all apps. When you click on that, 
it's going to stop everything, which is great. And it's a one click play. Now for the other one, um, that one, again, I love because it is a one click play for this background apps and processes is going to be a little bit different. Um, it's not a one and done. So for here, it says four apps are open in the background. What you have to do is you have to click on it. It's going to send you here. You got to click for stop and then click the back button. And then now you see it's gone. Um, you can come here again, click for stop, hit the back button, and now it's gone. So to each their own on that one, if you do close all apps at the top, it's going to take you to one app at a time. So you can hit for stop. Hit the back button, then it's going to take you to the next app for stop. Hit the back button, and now it's going to take you here. Notice nothing is open. So pretty good. Um, if you have like a bunch of them, that one click app, one and done, and it's it, your, the app is yours forever. So keep that in mind when you guys are shopping around. And again, big shout out to TDUK for creating that one. Now, when it comes to third party, third party apps, um, I highly recommend using RD. Um, you're going to see that in the description below. That way you guys get set, get that set up. You go to the settings, look for the RD, and um, just log in. Most of you guys already know what it is. For those of you guys that don't, again, this, this will be like for Cinema, for Sinclair, for whatever third-party app that's out there um, that uses that, that feature. That's what you're going to need. Um, so just keep that in mind when it comes with uh, your free servers. Um the next thing I do recommend considering is, is if you don't know what Fire Stick version you have, I'll go through the steps one more time, go all the way down to settings, go My Fire TV, about, and there you go. This will tell you what device you have. If you do have the Fire TV, and if that's all it says, then you might want to consider upgrading it to a newer device. I know a lot, I actually know a lot of people that still have the second gen Fire Stick and they say, hey, my stick is getting buffering. Look at whatever device you have. If it's um, anything within on TV, if it's uh, a very old NVIDIA Shield, I would say most NVIDIA Shields work pretty good, but with age comes wear and tear. And then sometimes you might need to re reset this whole thing. So, um, check the device that you have and consider upgrading it now speaking my next my next recommendation here is speaking of resetting if you come here um and we're gonna go to preferences i'm sorry we're gonna go up to applications right 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 there click on applications and go to manage install applications this gives you your storage that you have so let's just say you're coming here and you're just like i want to delete some stuff um sort by app size this i love because it does gives you like how big these devices are so um if i'm just like whoa this one is pretty big i don't use it um all you got to do is just select it uninstall it confirm and now i just freed up some space now i have noticed that some people will come here and say like hey i noticed that i still like I did gain some space here. I was at 2.1 now, I'm at 2.2. I always recommend two gigs at, at like worst case scenario, two gigs. If you get below that and you start deleting stuff and you still don't have extra space, you're gonna have to do a reset. So you're gonna come right back to my Fire TV and you're gonna go to reset to factory defaults. Um, you're going to get like, are you sure? And you want to say reset. Now, the reason why I want to do that is because sometimes there's apps um, or there's little bits, pieces of file in the background that it won't delete. Even if you use uh, EX, file, uh, EX File Explorer, um, sometimes it still won't delete everything. So what I recommend is resetting the whole thing and whatever apps you had before only install what you need and what i would do is if you're just like well i all i use is hulu disney plus amazon youtube tv uh sinclair um once you get to a third party app if you're installing all first party stuff get all your first party stuff first come over here to applications again and check it I got 2.27 and you can see here, I got Disney Plus, 
I got Freebie, Hulu. IP Vanishes is, is separate. Um, I do got Pluto TV. Plex is separate. Peacock TV, again, the first party. I don't have much on here. As you can see, more than half of my stuff is already full. So keep that in mind because once you start adding some stuff, for me, I already know this, that I have a little bit, I have several files in the background that I could delete that are still there. And I can't get to it because I have to do a reset. So keep that in mind. Um, that, that That's the most simplest way of doing it. And that way you, your Fire Stick is at optimum level or whatever device you have is at optimum level. If you have something where it's like, well, my device has 64 gigs of storage. I don't have to worry about it. Um, cool. Then you could totally skip that step. And then my final step here is going to be the most simplest one is unplug your Fire Stick power it down i'm um, just unplug the power completely take it off for like maybe 10 seconds five to ten seconds plug it back in and and just let it let it turn back on sometimes just unplugging it will help and i will also unplug my modem and router unplug and reset your internet unplug and reset your fire stick and hopefully that should fix the buffering issues so these are all things that you can control these are all things that you could manage and easily figure out um, let me know in the comment section below if there's anything that I missed. I did do another video with some other steps that are pretty good and detailed. Let me know what you guys think. And yeah, as always, you guys take care, take care of each other. And I'll see you guys in the next one.